the pre show now stakes is next and a field of just seven for this one mile and seven furlongs just shy of the two miles El Paso Morant at the top of Vinnie Gerard pop its path down Hughes devilish gelding Darren Thompson later rival Craig Allen Trey Manor David Robertson drums in the deep El Man Rensburg and so alive Craig Beckwith a field of seven Quietly ready to go, and away they go. Closest to us, devilish gelding was nicely out. Oh, yeah. Pretty tightly packed at the moment. Who's going to be the one to take them along? Oh, it looks like Poppet's Path will be the one that's got to pop off into the front. So Poppet's Path popping along in the lead then from So Alive and later rival Tremanor now making a bit of a forward move, but it's Poppet's Path with the rest of them all in a line pretty much as they already make their way through the first three furlongs and pop its path in the lead El Paso Morant is now second drums in the deep and Trey Manor after that one closes to us devilish gelding as they go up the straight and pass what is the I was thinking it was the false finish it looks like you're heading for the winning post any second and then you suddenly find you've got a furlong still to go its path is in front you see there's the winning post you thought the winning post was going to be a lot further down than that didn't you really you go past about two or three big screens and a few bits of crowd and it make it a very long of the end part of the race you can see there across the other side kind of that totalizator board is almost three furlongs from the finish anyway pop its paths in the lead El Paso Morant is in second late arrival is third throw my north fourth in devilish gelding on the outside of so alive and drums in the deep just at the back Nothing much really going on at the minute. Pop its path. Just travelling along sweetly in the lead from Tremor all second. Later arrival on the outside is third. El Paso Moran fourth as the field does begin to bunch up a little bit now. Drums in the deep move through into fifth. So alive being pushed along and devilish gelding is now the back marker and also being given a little bit of the hurry up. The rain's being shook at him as Pop its path starts this long sweeping turn and has a two length lead from Tremanor in second and El Paso Morant is third then drums in a deep and late arrival just losing its place a bit so alive's gone past that one and devilish gelding is now the back marker but it's pop its path from drums in the deep and so alive Tremanor is not really picking up neither to his El Paso Morant and late arrival has also lost its place but might be getting a second win devilish gelding trying to get back into it again they've still got over a furlong and a half to go and it's Poppets Bath who's still in front from So Alive and Drums in the Deep. Then Trey Manor trying to get going again. Right over on the far side, El Paso around They're inside the final furlong now and it's still Poppets Bath. Poppets Bath from So Alive. Poppets Bath by about a length. They're not going to get to it. I don't think Poppets Bath is still in front and Poppets Bath is going to hold on. Is she? All the jockey stopped riding a little bit too soon and I think she got caught. Well... We're going to see another pillar to post win there. I can't remember what the angle's like here. But the jockey's definitely stopped. Ah, oh, he's held on. Lucky for him, it looks a lot easier on the... Well, looks like he's won it a lot more clearly on the replay than it did in the race. So Poppet's Path, another all-the-way winner today. And it says there, cheekily, I'd rather suggest stupidly from the jockey's point of view, because he just eased up just a little bit too soon for me. So Poppet's Path down here is the winner. Drums in the deep. Leon van Rensburg second, so alive Craig Beckwith third, Trey Manor, David Robertson fourth, and El Paso Morant for Vinnie Gerard was fifth.